Right. A lot of times we don't use the liquids or other things that come to us because they are too concentrated. So we have to dilute them. And let's have a quick look at what that means. You can see in the little cartoon that I have moving on here that it's talking about adding lots and lots of water. And that is the clue. That is the key to all we're doing. Alright? So dilution means to make less concentrated. Or in other words, you water down. And so what we do is we add water to it. But we don't just willy-nilly add water. We add a certain volume of water. And then we start to think about how much of the new amount we've got, or the new volume we've got, is due to the liquid we started with, and how much is due to water. So we're going to be using fractions when we do the calculations in the next video. So let's put it simply with this. If we look at this sort of two solutions, we've got one with our water level low and that amount of chemical in it. Now over here in this one, I've still got the same amount of chemical, but I've added more water. All right, so we would say I have diluted it. So you can go from concentrated to dilute by simply adding water. But as I say, we should really tell how much water we have. Now the key is that the amount of chemical does not change. So what chemical I had here is identical to what chemical I had here. I've just added a different amount of water. Now the same is true for the reverse. If I got there and remove water, let's say I evaporated some water out of this one then it would become more concentrated. And as we see, I'll show you how to do calculations in the next video. And you'll be able to say, well, if it becomes more concentrated, then my percentage concentration will rise. If I dilute, though, my percentage concentration will decrease.